Hi, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. My name is John. In today's video, I want to explain to new radio users the difference between a walkie-talkie and a proper radio. The word walkie-talkie or the term walkie-talkie gets used a lot and I think people don't understand the difference. So let's try and explain it. A walkie-talkie is a radio with low power, no license needed, no removable antenna with very limited range. One thing you should understand about the ability of some of these radios is a walkie-talkie or an FRS radio is going to be capped and hindered from the manufacturer. They have certain rules that they have to follow when they manufacture these radios. A walkie-talkie radio is going to be capped at a half a watt or maybe two watts when they make that. So no matter what you do, it's always going to be hindered. A GMRS radio can operate up to five watts on certain channels per the FCC's rules. A ham radio does not share these restrictions. A ham radio can really be as powerful as the manufacturer wants to make it. And this is the big piece to it. This is, this is what really makes it a walkie-talkie and not a radio. It operates simplex only. What is simplex? Simplex means that I am on one frequency and the other person that I'm talking to is on one frequency or channel. You guys, if you're new to radio, you typically will call them channels because that's how they're labeled in these little walkie-talkies that you buy from the store. So you are limited to keying up on one frequency and listening on one frequency, and the two radios will just go back and forth. The problem with this is you are on the ground transmitting. Your signal is never going to be able to go up and rebroadcast out of a repeater. So what is a repeater? Um, I'm going to put a graphic on the screen here. A repeater is typically just a radio tower set up by other radio enthusiasts like myself. I have a repeater here at my home. It's a small one. Some are bigger and taller and more powerful than others. But there is a network of repeaters all around you that you just don't know about yet. There is searches you can do. I have other videos on how to find them, and I'll put that here. There is networks of all kinds of repeaters all around your area, whether it be GMRS, where you need a GMRS license, or a ham repeater, which is amateur radio. So there's these towers and little stations set up all over the place. That is what separates a proper radio from a walkie-talkie. When you see like a Baofeng like this, or other radios like it with a actual keypad, this can do something called an offset. I want to do a really quick demo on an offset. So a repeater, as discussed before, is something that's operating on two different frequencies. Right now, this radio is sitting on a listening frequency. You can see that I am on 462.675. I am listening to that frequency. But the way the repeater operates, when I want to connect into the networks that I want to, when I hit transmit, it is going to jump frequency 5 megahertz. And you're going to see that. It's going to go to 467. So what's happening, and I just connected, that's my personal repeater I just kerchunked. But that is what it's doing. I am listening on one frequency, and I am transmitting on another. Your radio has to have an offset capability to tap these repeaters. Basically, your little radio will hijack a repeater tower and broadcast what you're saying into the radio out of another tower. So basically, it's like cheating with radio. You are going up, hitting a tower, and then broadcasting your signal over a larger area. And that is how these radios achieve their incredible range. I mean, range up to 100 miles from a tiny little radio like this. The radio is incapable of transmitting 100 miles to another radio, but it is capable of hijacking or tapping into a repeater and broadcasting the signal out further. 
typically you want that repeater to be in the middle of where you are and where the person you're transmitting to is. And that is a big thing that I see with new radio people. They are constantly searching and asking and on Reddit and on Facebook, like what radio do I get? What can go the furthest? Well, all of them are going to do the same, whether it's like the UV25 or this, like there, there's some additional power with some of them, which can help you. But really having the ability to have an offset is what really gets you your range. Now, the cool thing about little radios like this or some of the ones behind me, not that one, that one's a CB radio, but, but the ones with the keypads, they also have the simplex communication capability. So you can grab one of these go into chirp and just upload the GMRS and or FRS frequencies into it. I know a lot of the guys who are hams, I'm a ham too, but a lot of the guys who are really stuck up hams will say, oh, you can't do that, it's illegal. I have endless content talking about why this doesn't matter. Pick up a ham radio, upload those frequencies into it, and use it with some additional power. That is also another thing about radios like this, I can unscrew this antenna and I can put upgraded antennas, better ones, half wave, quarter wave, whatever I want to do onto this and extend my simplex communication better. You know, my radio to radio communication. So to recap, a walkie talkie is only capable of transmitting simplex at low power with a non-removable antenna. They're very limited capability. They just have some channels in there and you can go back and forth. And the range is typically only gonna be a mile or two. A proper radio has a removable antenna, higher output powers, and the ability to tap into your local network. Now, programming can be difficult sometimes. That is something that we offer here. We program the radio for you and your area on our site and you can order one for yourself whether you have a license or not. Now, if you order one of our radios, you will be required to obtain the proper licensing before you transmit. Listening is always legal. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.